When it comes to love and relationships, sometimes men and women just don't speak the same language. So today we're breaking the barrier and viewers, we invited you to ask us what you really want to know, but maybe you're afraid to say out loud. All right, here to give us the download on all those answers and your most intimate questions is sex therapist and relationship guru, Dr. Pia, thanks for coming in today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. This is awesome. Okay, first I got to ask, how'd you even get into being a sex therapist? Yeah, so back in the day, there was a show called Talks sex with Sue Johansson on Oxygen. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's someone on TV <laughs> talking about sex, normalizing it. I want to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and look at you right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and say, and sex is good for your health. Absolutely, it does so much. So sex releases the hormone oxytocin. That's like the feel good hormone, right? And also releases dopamine. So it's gonna reduce anxiety. It's gonna reduce depression. It's gonna improve your sleep. It's going to help you feel energized. It reduces cardiovascular disease. All it does is just make you feel good. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't wanna do that? All right, so we got some questions from viewers. Some of them are a little bit juicy. So uh, here we go. We'll just jump right into it. <laughs> oh, They're all great questions. Okay. You want me to start? <laughs> so no, here we go. My wife rarely ever has an orgasm during sex. What can I do to make sure that she's having a good time when we're next in the bedroom? That's a good question. That's an excellent question. First of all, I'm so glad to hear that he wants to make sure that his wife is having a True. great time. That's awesome. The thing though is that I always say our orgasm is our responsibility. So we want to make sure that we are self-exploring so that we know what we want and we know what we need. The other thing that's really important is that foreplay is so vital to intercourse and the average woman requires about 18 to 20 minutes of foreplay and I know people's eyes bulge out like oh my god who has 18 minutes <laughs> right. right so foreplay doesn't have to be just physical it can be stimulated mentally as well so communication is often the lubrication so whether that's sending text messages whether that's talking about what you want to do whatever you can do to build up that energy is going to help increase great sex yeah, bring a stopwatch into the bedroom <laughs> Oh, just to make sure you hit those numbers. That's not quite how it works, Scott. <laughs> okay, here's the next question from our viewer. It says, my husband never wants to have sex, and I seem to want it all the time. How can I get him to kick his sex drive into high gear? Oh, good question. Very good question. So again, communication. We've got to understand what is the barrier to her mm. boyfriend having sex. Yeah, like does sex. he work too much or yes. something? Yes, right. is he stressed out? Is he tired? Is there any That's performance anxiety going on, right? We all want to like make sure that our partner is having a good Good time and that we're having a good time but oftentimes we're not communicating and communication needs to start outside of the bedroom because that can be super awkward right yeah, so, yeah. yeah yeah just have those conversations beforehand exactly. all right exactly question number three uh, my boyfriend and I are ready to take it to the next level of our relationship I'm just a little nervous because he is a lot more experienced than I am what can I do to lose the nerves and get up the, to speed before we take the next step that's a common question because people yeah. enter in different you know ways of, of, of the sexual relationship in their past histories right absolutely so everyone's a Libido might be different. And the thing that I say again is that self exploration is so important. You've got to learn what you enjoy in order to kick up your sex drive, in order to feel that connection. So, again, communication and self exploration. Like you have that. so many good gems. Yeah, I know, okay. right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so earlier you mentioned that the uh, health benefits to sex it was true, of course, mm -hmm. but it comes obviously with some risks that sure. some people should be aware of and talk about too. Yes, absolutely. So there's so many things that can happen during sex. So two things that I see in my office very often is penile fractures. So that sounds really like, oh, right? Mm -hmm. So Right, you're crossing your legs, mm -hmm. you're like, what's going on? So sometimes with vigorous intercourse, there can be a bend and there might be a snapping noise. So this is something that you want to go to the ER immediately. We see mm -hmm. about a thousand cases of this in the US. Look at her mouth. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> like, you said wait, wait, wait. there's a, no I never imagined a noise with a yeah. fracture. It's yeah. uncomfortable, but it's something important to talk exactly. about and know what to do if it happens. Exactly, and then afterwards, that's a trauma, right? So then it's hard to think about like, I don't want to get back in the bed if that happened last time, right? Yeah. right. So being very aware of your body. So you need that. to go to the emergency room. Absolutely, uh, yeah. this and is that's a medical that's emergency. And that's something that might seem embarrassing to someone, but that's, that's where it's like, it doesn't matter what you're, you exactly. need to get to the professional. Correct, They've correct. They've seen it all, huh? Yes. Oh. Right. Yeah. Don't worry that's about a good the judgment. Way to, exactly. That's a good way to no wrap it up. judgment, no yeah. judgment. All right, well, if you want to get connected with Dr. Pia, follow her on social media at sexdrpia or make an appointment with her today.